This door, the last thing they do is touch that. Uh, Pat uh, passed away. We heard from people all over the world uh, who didn't even know him at all, but were touched by what he, you know, he gave up uh, an NFL career, millions of dollars to go serve our country in, in overseas. And um, one day a gentleman from Chicago called and said, I don't know Pat, never met him, but his story touched my heart. And he said, I run a company that does, uh, makes headstones for uh, cemeteries, you know, when somebody passes away, they make the, the headstone for the, the grave. And he said, would you be interested if I made one for Pat, would you be able to use it? And we said, well, sure, we'll, we'll find some way. Well, we never thought anything of it. And a couple months later, this arrived in the mail one day. This is very heavy. Uh, it's, it's really heavy, but this is where we put it. And the, the guy did an amazing job with the likenesses of Pat. And then this was F Pat's famous quote by Emerson. And the guy knew it because he'd read about it, and he put it on the plaque. The Pat Tillman Foundation, when we started, we endowed a scholarship fund to the W.P. Carey School, which is where Pat graduated. He was a marketing major. That's the marketing program at ASU. So we started a scholarship there, and we still give uh, what we call Tillman Scholars for ASU students every year. And every spring, we bring them down in here, and we give them the same tour you guys are getting right now. And Pat's coach, Bruce Snyder, who has since passed away, he had cancer, uh, he used to lead the tour of that group and would tell this story to the group every year. In 1996, how many of you were even born then? A couple of you? 1990, <laughs> 1996, ASU played Nebraska. That's the year they went to the Rose Bowl. But in September, they played Nebraska, and it was a big game. Nebraska had won how many games? Straight games? 33 straight games. And Pat was never one to put himself out front of everybody. So the team's getting ready to come out of the tunnel. And they're all hyped up and getting ready to go. And from the very back of the room, and I hope I can say this, um, you hear a voice yell, give them hell, devils. And it was Pat screaming it out. And the team went out there and they beat Nebraska 19 to nothing. And ended up going to the Rose Bowl. Finished undefeated, lost to Ohio State in the Rose Bowl. But that's a, a great Pat Tillman story that Coach Snyder used to like to tell. I mentioned to him how well I thought you know, he was doing in school and how hard it must be to play football and get the kind of grades that he was getting. And you know, I just was trying to uh, pump him up some you know, with that. And he looked up at me and he just was sitting down or, you know, with the back against the wall. He looked up and said, you know, it's really not that hard. He said, I do what I'm supposed to do. I am do what I'm expected to do. What it means to him. Well, Pat Tillman, especially to the Sun Devils organization, you know, he's big around here. Um, basically, anywhere that you go, you'll see something with a PT-42 on it. I got a bracelet right here that's got a PT-42 on it. It says all in. And, and all in is probably the perfect explanation of what Pat Tillman was and is for this organization. He, you know, he put everything that he had into the Sun Devil program, football program, not only the football program, but the academic program. He graduated um, with a very high GPA at the top of his class. He was one of the best um, at Arizona State University as far as academics go. But personally, to me, um, Pat Tillman, you know, represents the ultimate sacrifice. No, I've never met him. I wasn't here, but, uh, you know, uh, obviously all over the country, everybody, <coughs> You know, had a you know it impacted everyone in the country. You know, so he uh, and I was a safety, um, and uh, um, there was guys like uh, who, who Tillman kind of remind me of a guy named Bill Bates, um, played for the Dallas Cowboys, and uh, so obviously we connected with him. And then you know the ultimate sacrifice that he made, you know, you know to give up what he had as an NFL player. Um, I mean, uncommon, you know, commitment to his country and service was. Pretty special. So I think he has a profound impact. Obviously, coming here, uh, he exemplifies what we're trying to do with our players. We want guys that are winning in all phases of their life. That are, first and foremost, that are passionate. We want to be genuine. You know, he was a free spirit. You know, that was a. Uh, uh, you know, that's that's what we try to encourage our kids. We want them to, you know, be who they are uh, and be passionate about what they're doing. But. You know, we want them to compete in the classroom like they compete on the field. He exemplified that with what he did 
uh, you know, being an academic All-American, uh, you know, the, you know, graduating the uh, summa cum laude, three, you know, three point eight four GPA. Um, <clears throat> you look at, you know, like uh, you know, Mr. Brand will tell you about how he was just a giver. I mean, even when. He's with the cars. You were telling me the story when he came back and signed all the things, and he lost them. Had to come back and sign them all again. Uh, just, just phenomenal. You look at his uh, commitment to his family and the uniqueness of his family. Uh, so, you know, all the ideals that we're trying to teach on the field, off the field, in the classroom, in the community, he exemplifies all that. So, obviously, he's a person that, uh, you know, we're, our guys are, if we can get some guys striving to be like him, we, we'll have a chance. But the great man is he who, in the midst of the crowd, keeps with perfect sweetness the independence of solitude. Ralph Waldo Emerson.